Hello and welcome back to another EAFC 24 player review. Today's player review is for the Squad Foundation's level 20 Ferdi Kadioglu, so let's get into it. As always, I start off with the team that I used for this player review. As you can see, it is a 4-3-3, fourth variation. It is a Eredivisie, Turkish League and Premier League hybrid. It was actually quite a creative team. Special defence already this early on. But let's look at my stats for Kadioglu after my three Rivals games. Now on the screen are my stats for Kadioglu after three games. Got one goal and one assist. So let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay for Kadioglu. Now, as there is only one goal and one assist, there's just a lot of actual sort of tidbits of him crossing, him getting into the box, him defending, because otherwise there would only be 20 seconds worth of gameplay, which at that point just isn't really worth it. And to be honest, a lot of the time, realistically, I should have been getting assists with him, especially that first one that went into Jolinton. I mean, it was just very disappointing, to be honest. So, as you can see, Kadioglu, with those four-star skill moves, taking it to the byline. And, to be honest, I didn't even mean to score that. I was trying to pass it back post, but I ended up shooting and it actually went in. I was very surprised, I'm not going to lie to you. And you'll probably notice this year, I used the... La Croqueta quite a lot and it just seems to be really overpowered again this year now whether a lot of people use it or not that's up to them I personally really enjoy it Cadioglu into Lozano back to Cadioglu and then into Lipmanen so that's his assist only a few more clips of gameplay and then we will be moving on to the pros and cons in a second. Starting off with the pros for Cario Glue, first of all is his pace. Now, 92 pace with an anchor. Very, very good, especially this early on. He's got good shooting. Now, I know he only scored one, but if I did actually play him left mid, then he probably could have got quite a few more goals. 79 crossing. Now, realistically, it felt more like 90s. And it was really more my attackers just weren't able to finish them off. 93 agility and balance. I mean, you can't be asking for much more this early on in the game. Then he's got well-rounded defending. 99 stamina, which is definitely his biggest pro. Because, to be honest, 99 stamina, he just lasted the whole game so, so easily. And if you go back to the gameplay and watch those final few clips, you will see that my opponent's team were just dead. And Karioglu was pretty much like he just played about 30 minutes then four star four star to round off what is a spectacular card onto the cons for Kadioglu and for me there's only really one con and that is his 79 strength now that is with an anchor applied otherwise it's only 71 and I don't know why but there were a couple times where he should have really outstrength the opponent, but it's just one of those things where 79 strength just isn't the best, even at this stage of the game. So would I still recommend taking Kadioglu from level 20? And in my opinion, yes, I would highly recommend taking him. He's an absolutely fantastic card. He's got great pace. He's well-rounded everywhere. He's a great link to Road to the Knockout Jekko. And if you haven't used that Jekko card, you are missing out. He's an unbelievable card. And the fact that Kadioglu is also a very good card 
just means that you'll have two absolute beasts very early on especially as Karioglu is free all he's going to take is your time he's got four star four star so for a fullback I mean you never ever really see that but it is also because he can play as a left mid so his versatility is also very good and to be honest he's just a spectacular card this early on I'd like to thank you for watching this player review. If you did enjoy it, then drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.